had been for many years. Uh, we both lived over in the Riggins area, and uh, I miss him a lot. He's a good, very good friend, as I said. I thought it would be appropriate to read uh, the 23rd Psalm. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and the, your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Dear Heavenly Father, I, I do thank you that uh, I believe Joe is, is at peace with you and, uh, in a much better place than we are in this troubled world. And uh, I thank you, Lord, for his family, and I pray your blessing upon them. Uh, help them, Lord, to uh, to have uh, the right attitude towards his death, and uh, they might realize that it was a, it was a good thing for Joel, even though we all miss him. Just uh, bless all of his family and draw each of us closer to you. I pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I am Old Glory, born amidst the first flames of America's fight for freedom. I am a symbol of a country that has grown from 13 colonies to United Nation of 50 sovereign states. A symbol of liberty and strength, I have traveled far and endured much to carry my message throughout the world. From the frozen forests of Valley Forge to the steaming jungles of Vietnam and to the burning sands of the Middle East, 
I have stood as an emblem of our unity, our thoughts, and our purpose as a nation. This banner of love and devotion now being folded is a living memorial of the courageous actions of our comrade, David Joseph Edward Kent, whom you've come to honor today. The blue field represents the sky that overlooks our land and denotes the watchfulness of God the Eternal. The red stripes tell us of the blood, sweat, and tears given by our comrades' devotion to duty, honor, country, and the American way. The white stripes boldly proclaim the peace and freedom that he helped bring to our future generations. When the flag is completely folded and tucked in, the stars are uppermost, ever reminding us of our nation's motto, In God We Trust, and ever reminding us of our sailors, soldiers, airmen, Marines, still serving in the United States Armed Forces, preserving for us the rights and privileges that we enjoy today. This is his flag. This is our spiritual heritage. Receive it with our deepest appreciation and faith in our hearts. Amen. Detail. Eight. Hoot. Please, the United States Army and the grateful nation, please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation for your loved ones' honorable and faithful service. Thank you. R. A. Who? Fall out. On behalf of our Valley Post 47 American Legion, we thank you for his service and thank you for your support. Thank you. <laughs>